new option in Delaware for women looking to improve their technology skills. The nonprofit group Girl Develop It is launching a chapter in Wilmington, offering everything from introductory to more advanced coding and web design classes. So let's bring in Todd Bookman, WHYY's innovations reporter and a member of The Pulse. Todd, tell us more about this. Thanks, Shirley. This story comes at a time when the tech industry struggles to recruit enough skilled coders. Girl Develop It aims to train more women for a career in the traditionally male-dominated profession. I typically just use standard post format. Learning JavaScript or HTML code is like learning a new language. So to make the process something other than frustrating, Megan Anthony says the learning environment must be positive. It's a super supportive community, so everyone's learning together, we're talking, we're all asking questions. Um, I myself am not a coder, so I am learning too. Anthony is co-leader of the Wilmington chapter for Girl Develop It, which began offering classes last October. The aim is to create a space where women can come, learn skills, and then go shake up the industry. The more diverse your workforce can be, the better for everyone. Men far outnumber women in technical jobs. At industry giants like Microsoft, Twitter, and Google, more than 80 percent of tech positions are held by males. Corinne Warnsice is CEO of Girl Develop It, which launched five years ago and is now active in 50 cities. The tech industry as a whole is, is very male dominated. And so what we like to do at Girl Develop It is create an environment that kind of subverts that. So it's really important to be among peers in, in a learning environment and feel like you can ask any question that, that might come up and not feel um, nervous about that or not feel like you're asking a dumb question because you don't know some very basic things. So we just try to create an environment where, where women can thrive because they're in a company of their peers. Antoinette Russin Hain is attending Girl Develop It classes to gain experience and hopefully learn enough to begin doing some freelance web development. But she doesn't expect an easy road ahead. Well, as an adult learner, you're going to be uncomfortable and a little frustrated when you it doesn't click immediately. However, um, I have no problem asking questions here. Um, they make you feel very comfortable about, about that. And um, as long as someone's there to explain it, you know, I will make sure that I get the knowledge eventually. She's able to keep coming back because the classes are reasonably priced. The sessions run about $10 an hour. That's a small down payment on a potentially lucrative career. I have friends that have kids and the kids don't know what they want to do with their lives and they're going into college and I'm telling all of them, just go into computer science. Callie Morrissey has worked in and around tech, but never as a programmer writing code. She's thrilled to have access to local instructors. I think it's a great opportunity, and it's so exciting that it's in Wilmington because usually you have to go to Philly for everything, <laughs> so it's really awesome. Yeah. Girl Develop It has plans to extend its reach into more American cities and also internationally over the next few years. Megan Anthony says she's excited to bring its motto, don't be shy, to more women. I think women are intimidated by joining the tech field. So it's, you know, don't be shy, leave that at the door, come here, be sassy, learn something. You know, it's a lot of fun. So I like to snap when I think about it, like, girl, just develop it. <laughs> I should add that while Girl Develop It is geared around teaching women coding skills, the classes are open to all genders and identities. Everyone is simply asked to abide by a code of conduct that encourages participation and a welcoming environment. Yeah, Todd, I know that Wilmington is not going to replace Silicon Valley or anything for tech jobs, but is there an opportunity for local employment here? You know, uh, you look around the region and there definitely seems to be momentum. Co-working spaces are popping up like 1313 Innovation, which offers 3D printers and other tools. Zip Code Wilmington, which is like a coding boot camp, is now up and running. The website technically has a reporter stationed here. People I speak with have the sense that it's a region on the verge of having a real tech moment. That's so cool. Thank you so much, Todd. And you can find Todd each Friday morning on The Pulse. Listen to it at 9 a.m. Friday and 10 a.m. on Sunday on WHYY-FM 90.9.